Holy shit. Uh, you're watching Digibros. Who that boy? Who he is? I don't know why you're watching Digibros. I hope it's because you're having a fun time. You know, you're maybe you're doing your homework. Maybe you're you're just sitting around. Nothing. YouTube's disappointing you today. That's why I usually watch Digibros. <laughs> That's why you uh, watch your own show. I have too much free time. Well, I watch Connor and May. I don't oh, watch. Okay. I don't watch yeah. uh, our show because I lived it. Yeah, that's, that's, you already lived that shit once, yeah. that's good enough. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I'll, I'll watch brief snippets, but then I'm like, I don't need to listen to this. Because you actually were part of the conversation. Yes. Because I'll get carried away and I'll listen to all of it, and then I'll analyze it or something. <laughs> you analyze a conversation it's you had in the past. It's unnecessary. Uh, indeed. Anyways, so, this show is, has, has become... Largely, really, mostly on Conrad's end, because we don't usually have as much to react to, but it's become a couple uh, reacting to the things that another couple says on their Let's Play show. A bunch of fucking facts. It's, uh, it's become meta, it's become a, a back and forth dialogue. But guess what, boys? I'm fucking expanding that meta. I'm getting a whole new level of meta, because I watched a Ben and Jackie live stream. And guess what? I have things that I thought while I watched that live stream. Oh my god! So that's right. Now it's not only uh, one couple reacting to each other. Now it's another. I'm free. I'm forcing another couple into the mix. I'm bringing in Ben and Jackie. Now there's I'm reacting to things they said. Watching material. <laughs> now there's three couples. Now you have to watch three Let's Play shows. Congratulations. So, uh, this is, yeah, this is what Digibros is now. This is, this is a whole new brand of procrastinator <laughs> content, of the PCP, where it's, it's couples reacting to other couples doing Let's Plays, because somehow all of us coincidentally started Let's Plays at the same time, <laughs> without really, like, taking inspiration for each other. And you say you don't believe in fate. Yes. But that's where this has gone. And that, that kind of... You know, that's segueing me into this topic, which is, you know, I watched Ben and Jackie's live stream. It was like, something about it's like, same thing with watching Digi and May, where it's like, now I'm in a relationship, and I'm listening <laughs> to people, to other people who are in relationships, <laughs> and somehow it's just like, I guess because I'm in a relationship, it's more entertaining to listen to other people in relationships. I don't know. It's and then I'm thinking about how, that. you know, now the only friends we really hang out with are Tyler and Lauren because they're a couple. And so it's like, when you become a couple, you're pretty much, you're just going to hang out with other couples. And it's like, as a couple, you know, you can't just hang out with, like, a friend, you know, me and you and a friend. Because then uh, they're a third wheel. I don't know. Josh hangs out with us sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> to a completely shoot but, down uh, your point. Eh. He's still a little third wheely. Aww. He's, he's just better at dealing with it. <laughs> but I'm sure Aww. he feels like kind of a third wheel. Anyways, if you, if you hang out with one other guy, he's, he's a third wheel. Like, that's a matter of fact. Even if, even if he doesn't show it... He's probably feeling like a third wheel a lot of the time, where we're being super gay. Hang out with another couple, you can be super gay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we can hang out with Alicia and John, we can hang out with fucking Tyler and Lauren. They're other couples, and so we hang out with them the most, you know? We hang out with them more than we do other people. The gay I mean, are coincidentally, we just have, we're just friends with a lot of couples. True. But then I thought it was funny that we that I'm also listening to let's plays of other couples and being like, yeah, this is great. You've, uh, unintentionally, magnetically drawn yourself towards uh -huh. other couples. And then it's like the other PCP guys who are single probably don't enjoy the couples let's plays enough, as much. Very likely because not. they're kind of painfully single, and none of them are listening to the couples let's plays. Only the couples are listening to each other let's plays because also. Uh, Sheepover was listening to the Ben and Jackie live stream, and she's, uh, you know, she's part of a couple too. Also, yes. So it's member, members of couples listening to couples. And I was like, that's, that's what it is. Couples hanging out with couples. So I'm keeping it <laughs> up. the internet. This is the, the, the procrastinators couples universe. <laughs> We're starting an expend, ex 
expanded uh, PCP universe. Yeah, I don't know. How do you how do you feel about couples hanging out with other couples? Uh, I think it's just kind of inevitable as you get older. Yeah. If you are someone who's in a relationship, you're you're gonna kind of just end up hanging out with other people who like are married or are in a committed relationship, yeah. and by default, you'll end up hanging out with their significant other. Yeah, it's just how how it kind of flows. Cause uh, of course you know, me and me and Tyler were friends before we had a. Uh, a significant other and then it just kind of happened to the he he got a girlfriend long before i got with victor uh and then you know it's just it's a natural progression it's yeah. a, the the natural progression i mean you things. could just say that it's because everyone ends up it you know in a relationship over time most people most but then it's also like you know i'd be less inclined to invite like Don San to come hang out with me, you and me, you know, yeah, because I he mean, would be a third wheel. It would be weird. Like you, you can't hang out with as many solo friends. Not that I would anyway, because <laughs> I just enjoy hanging Victor out with you. Have friends anyway. But theoretically, you know, you might feel like, yeah, maybe it'll be awkward if it's if it's just them, you know, just them and us. I guess it's just kind of weird for me because all my friends are married. Or in a relationship, yeah. so I don't even have any like single <laughs> That's friends. That's true. You really don't have any single so, friends. So uh, yeah. Interesting. Truly, don't have any single friends. Sorry. Couples hanging out with couples, man. It's a thing. I think it's a thing. Maybe it's, maybe people have something to say about. It. Maybe people will be like, oh yeah, when I was in a relationship, I, I always hung out with other couples. You're always looking to hang out with other couples because other couples are generally in the same headspace. They're getting bored in the same ways and wanting to do similar things, you know. And they, they want to hang out with each other, but they also want to hang out with other people. So you're going to hang out with another couple, you know? Because then easy. you can still do your gay couple stuff, because they'll be doing it too. <laughs> Everyone will You won't will feel be like you, you have to tone, it down, ha tone down how gay you are. Tone your fucking gay down when you're yeah. hanging out with other couples. Because you're with, you're with another couple. I don't exactly. know, it's, it's, it's relatable too. Like, Digi and May are, are relatable as a couple, and it makes it, you know, it's, it's entertaining on that extra level. I don't know, man. Yeah, but are they as gay as we are? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Ben and Jackie are pretty gay. Okay. They they uh they outgayed us, but then I I told them that in their live stream, and they were like, well, they're you know they're real life gay in their hammed up live stream gay. It's not the same. Uh, not oh, the same. Oh, so they gay. play up the gay yeah. for live. Yeah. They were they were playing it up to like a comedic extent, and I was like, ah, that's a that's a new strategy. So at first I was like. Wow, you guys are super gay. I could be way more gay in my videos than I thought I could be. <laughs> and they're like, well, we're hamming it up. It's you know? hyperbole. They're, they're hamming it up. Motherfucker, this is just going on. This is the longest fucking fight ever. Well, Victor, you know the only thing left to do now, right? What? There's only one other power couple on YouTube. H who? Who, who do you fucking think? Is it PewDiePie? No. <laughs> it's professional shitbag Jeff Thu and his girlfriend, uh, the, the Patreon girl. No. That's the other thing, is that all of the procrastinator couples are the most entertaining couples that have ever been on YouTube ever. Because every other couple sucks. <laughs> they all fucking suck, man. Fucking Aaron Hansen and his girlfriend, they're, they're pretty boring together. You got PewDiePie and uh, PewDiePie. his girlfriend. She's pretty, eh, you know. She's okay. They're they're cute, but they aren't super entertaining and ranty, you know. <laughs> I I knew Ben and Jackie's thing was gonna be good because I I tuned into the stream and she was already like ranting passionately passionately about some shit and I was like, yeah, Jackie's cool. <laughs> All right, I can get into this. <laughs> All he needs is a, a good rant. Time. Exactly. A good rant with lots of curse words, and I was like, alright, what a what a chill bro. This is gonna be a good time. Motherfucker, I'm gonna lose the fight! I don't have good enough fucking potions guy. to make it through this shit! Guy. This is ridiculous, he just has so much health! That, uh, uh, the aim has been, you know, wonk. It is it weird that, like, that's not like, hitting, dude. Yeah, sometimes it'll hit him in the face, and sometimes it'll just get slightly off his face and not fucking hit him. Just frustrating as shit. Yeah, it just looks like it's bounce. Oh, that one got him. See, it'll it'll get him. It just has to get the hit right angle, the right spot. That's very obnoxious. Yes, it's quite mm, tedious. Very. Uh, 
I gotta get the boner bullets. Oh god. Boner! Oh I'm gonna, boy. I'm gonna die. Yeah. There's no way I can. If I land like a perfect Fucking series of shots, maybe I'll win. Rip. Fuck. Ugh. This is gonna go on forever. Uh, maybe I need to upgrade my shit uh, oh, before yeah. I start the next time. I, uh. Did you. Uh, I need to upgrade You should have damage. some more red diamonds. So you I have a bunch, to, so I could probably upgrade the, the damage a bunch. Yeah. So that I'll actually be able to do some fucking damage. I we mean, don't have that to the, play this game like Splatoon 2. The fucking. The shotgun, like, just isn't fucking fast enough to hit this guy because he moves. And then the, the machine gun shoots too many fucking bullets at once and it just wastes a shitload of ammo. So I really have to use this fucking gun to get him. Gotta use that handgun. Ugh. This is infuriating. It's fucking dude. I don't wanna put down the game and look at my phone for the next topic. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure how long a couple right, hanging out uh, with couples could go on. Maybe you, do you have another topic? We can topic? have a, a brief intermission to talk about uh, the newest trend on the internet, which is every every girl in the world wanting to fuck Pennywise from it. Oh God! No. I did some uh, some research uh, into this recently. So fucking weird. It's fucking gross. bizarre. I'm not surprised in the slightest. I'm not. But I'm like, not, but it's fuck, also man. like. It's just, Guys, it's annoying at best. It's 2017. It's time to grow up. We can't be doing this. <laughs> I'm Come hoping on. they're all 13. I don't know. Mm, I have a, a very sneaking suspicion they're not all 13. Oh, God. Is the art the, too good? <laughs> well, I mean, there are some very talented 13 year old artists. Fuck me. So fuck I mean, me. Ah! Look at that speck of health I have. Jesus fucking ah! Christ. This is the worst. Oh. Uh, Shit on my ass. <laughs> and then uh, I guess the the other thing that transpired is now the uh, um, of course the Babadook is the uh, the gay icon of the whole world. Oh no! World. Oh no! Are they shipping the Babadook and it? Uh, in absolutely, Pennywise? Victor. What the fuck? I didn't know the Babadook was some sort of gay horror oh, yeah. icon. He's totally. What the f <laughs> Why? Why? Because <sighs> the internet. Like, is the Babadook some sort of attractive design that needs to be shipped with things? Why the does, fuck? Does this have you Baba Shook, Victor? I'm Baba fucking confused is what I am. <laughs> <laughs> Why the Babadook? Like, I can't even imagine, like, sexy art of the fucking Babadook. It's like, not... I, I can get it as a, as a meme. It's a meme. Okay. The, the, the Babadook Oh, shit! Meme. Oh, my fucking oh my God! God! Holy shit! The Babadook saved no this fucking let's play! Way. Look at my health! I would like Look to thank- Look at my fucking health! Holy shit! I would like to thank the Babadook. Yas, Betch. Thank you, Babadook. <laughs> you, you saved this Let's Play. Uh, yeah. But yes, they're the new power couple, Pennywise and the Babadook. Pennywise and the Babadook. Fuck my entire ass. Jesus fucking Christ, guys. Yeah. You heard it here. Breaking news. Breaking Pennywise news. X Pennywise the and the Babadook shipping. is the hottest couple uh, on the internet. Fuck, uh, you know, fuck all these PCP couples. Emerald. What the fuck is this? The dentist. The dentist. Ooh, I don't like that. We got a chaos emerald. Oh, we normally do the other song. Yeah. Well, we were playing Sonic Adventure 2, so now I've yeah, got that song stuck in my head. Yeah, that's true. We raised some fucking chows, guys. We raised them. Chows. You raised me up so I can stand on chows. I don't remember how this song goes. Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing insightful to add to that, uh, so, you don't, yeah. You didn't have to uh, listen to You Raise Me Up all the time because you're a Christian? I, I mean, I, I heard it more than I care so you can to. stand on mountains? But, uh... Have you been raised? I try to fucking tune it out when I can. Do 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 We're buying some shit. Uh, Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll look at the next topic when I'm done buying When you're done tequila. buying it, uh, all this fucking alcohol. I had, like, a bunch of topics, but now I'm realizing none of them are good enough, and they're all gonna be short. Uh, Alright, look at my burr. list, look at my list. Okay, here we go. So this is another expanding on, on, on Ben and Jackie's Let's Play. But 
I had said something. Yeah, it was because I, I was talking about how gay they were. You know that they were that they were even gayer than us. And then someone in the in the chat was like, "Gay as in lame." <laughs> And so, well, uh, yeah, they had to, you know, they were going on to try to uh, try to explain what what th- our understanding of gay is. How we and they're sort of gay. going on about the the origins of the word to them. So, what what is gay to you? First of all, tell me tell me the history. Speaking of the Baba of, Duck, you know, go over the history of you and the word gay. Uh, the history. Yeah. <laughs> the history. Like, what's what's your earliest childhood exposure gay. to gay? Like, how what how did you perceive um, the word gay growing up? Uh, you like, know, as a particularly as a word kids call each other. <laughs> uh, I didn't really know. None of the kids around me really started using that word till probably like middle school. Mm-hmm. Uh, and of course, you know, it, it just meant something was super lame. Yeah. In middle school. Generally lame, right? Uh, hey, it's a library. Shut the fuck up. Oh, Jesus. Spooky man. Oh. He's just trying to read his books. Oh. That's the slug boy. It's the, uh, fish, angler fish, fish. Yeah, angler fish. I'm, like, gonna die. <laughs> you should drink an alcohol. I don't want to, because then I'll waste alcohol and I could just die and come back with full health and eh, that's uh, have true. my alcohol. So just get the, make the monster kill you. Just just let him murder you. I got this. I got it. Mm-hmm. We'll see how long Victor could uh, last without getting hit. Okay. Uh, but yeah, in middle school and then through high school, of course, it, it meant lame. And of mm-hmm. course, being in a Christian school, you weren't allowed to be gay. So I didn't know any, like, literally gay people. Yeah. Well, none that I was actually aware. There were gay people there. They just were not. Who's the first gay pe- person you ever met, like, the knowing pe- they were gay? The first gay people I, yes. I met. Um, hmm. Ben. Oh, God. Ben, that face like. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. So that uh, was probably the first exposure, like, like out of the closet. Holy shit! Gay person. So you were I you met. were like a senior. Yeah. Wow, dude, like it's really the first I mean, out of the closet gay person you ever met, I, like in person. It's not like I was unaware of gay people, or yeah. I had I didn't have like a negative opinion of gay people. It's just that at GCA, no one could, be you know, gay. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't you weren't allowed to be gay. So ah. it was like what. What? I'm not going to know any openly gay people. <laughs> yeah, that is Because uh, you'd you get expelled right. ah. from the school. That's true. Yeah. I think, I don't think anyone was openly gay in, in middle school. Where, because I, I went to, uh, I think I also went to Bayside Middle School. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know that anyone was openly gay back then, but there were definitely the people where you, 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 you could tell. You could just tell, yeah. yeah. But then, like, high school is when people started being open about it. And then it was like, yeah, you know, I mean, we, I, you know, it's the seniors who are who are gay, and then like there are the kids in ninth grade who are like, I'm not, I'm not gay, I'm not gay, and then like by gay, the, by a couple years later You're they like, yeah, they're out, bro. and it's like bro. okay, everyone knew, like you were, and I, I doubt anyone was uh, was very shocked. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and there was there, you know, there were surprising cases. There were surprising but, uh, cases. Yeah, I think growing up generally, ever, I think everyone relates to. Gay meaning lame as a yeah. kid. Yeah, when you're younger, that's definitely what it means. But uh, Jackie was saying that to her, it always it was kind of uh, like she always thought of it as you know, gay means happy, and so it's like Aww. cheesy basically. Yeah. yeah so yeah. like it's it's it still means lame, but it's lame because it's cheesy. Is like the context behind it. Yeah. Like that. That makes a lot of that sense. That makes sense. For, I think for, you know, boys in elementary school, like, I, I remember fucking gaming in this was elementary school, like, for for me and my gang. But, you know, it, it wasn't because you were cheesy, it was because you liked to fuck dudes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, originally it's, you, you don't like really know what that means, dude. so it's like, you know, you just know it means you like Ooh. boys. So that that's not something you want to be in being don't gay is something you don't likes want to boys. be. So it was less about just being lame, and then it kind of became that later on. You but are the earliest gay. exposure to the gay was definitely like, yeah, dude, you're gay, bro. Bro, <laughs> dude, you're fucking gay, bro. Quit being gay, dog. Ah. Oh, and that then, was interesting. Uh, it, it means different things to different people. But yeah, once I actually got to know some uh, some people who were gay in real life, it it and. Uh, 
with with me being asexual, I it was just easier for me to uh, adopt the gay vernacular rather than uh -huh. you know try to uh, you know go against it. And so I, I started using gay all the time as yeah. you know, and not in the the like as derogatory yeah. way, but yeah, as like a joke. We, like we, yeah, I'm we so say gay, gay dog. as a meme. Yeah, we and that's when it became a meme from appreciate there. Appreciate homosexuality, but uh, you know, it's a it's a fucking joke. Yeah, it, and and it just became a meme from from that point of so time. So now I think we now it's mostly in the context of being like cringe cringy straight, <laughs> you know? Yes. Like straight is the new gay. We def we usually use it in the context of gay as in being cringy cute <laughs> yeah it's uh it's being uh super like sappy yeah. touchy feely bullshit being gay being you know? gay you, yeah. you get it in context <laughs> use your context clues you'll understand what the word means i think the only people who don't get that are people like Older our parents people like age your mom. yeah which my mom every time i i say something about being gay my mom is like mm -hmm. fuck how do i get under this gate am i just Dodge waiting roll. for the gate to go up uh -huh. i guess is that what the sequence is uh, maybe the fish is opening the gate for you. Oh. I gotta blow the dude's arm off. I wanna wipe the lens off. off. Yeah, I can't fucking see anything. <laughs> this is a mess. Uh. Ah, fuck. Oh. oh. I'm gonna, let me upgrade my shit. I was gonna I say, have, like, why didn't you upgrade your, uh, stones. your gun? Uh, fuck, what should I upgrade? Light shot, eh. Torch, health. Let's do a health. Let's do... Let's do hot boner damage. Uh, let's, let's just do that way up. <laughs> Capacity. And what'll help me right now? It's probably this. Alright, All right. now we have a stronger a weapon, little, TM. Uh, up, upgraded a little bit. Can you roll under the gate? Uh, I don't think so. I don't, uh, what was the there, square button that just uh, tried to prompt when you were standing behind the fish? It's trying to prompt that because guys are attacking me from behind me. It'll do uh, a counter. Oh, okay. Eh. Swing. Ah. Uh. All right. What else? What else? Is that? From Ben and Jack. Uh, being play. gay. Gay. Oh yeah. Than God. There, there's, there's one more topic. How, how many minutes are we on? Um, I set a timer. Get two minutes. <laughs> so we got two minutes left. Okay. Yeah. Till what? Like twenty five. Yeah. All right. We're gonna we're we're keeping these episodes brief because we don't have a, a ton of amazingly long topics. <laughs> and we're not doing a good job of uh, talking about. We're getting you know we're deep into this game. It's getting uh, a little a little difficult. <laughs> Victor uh, has to focus. Having a chill time. Come on, guys. We gave you like uh, like a bunch of awesome forty three minute episodes. We, we, can, we can have a couple 20, 23. At least we're not the Game Grubs, you know? At least we're not Put, the Game Grubs. Putting out fucking 10 minute episodes where they literally, you know, they're over before they have time to flounder because they just go, oh, I'm Sonic, look at him jump. I'm Sonic. I watched some Game Grubs recently and I was like, this is just nothing now. Like, they, they're doing nothing. It sounds like you're a little bit embittered. Yes, I did it. I got out of that room. Against the Game Grubs. Nah, I just think they've, you know, they've gotten dry. You can't, like, I, I, I always try to watch it because I'm just like, maybe they'll talk about something. And then they, you know, they don't they don't talk about anything anymore because they have ten minutes. And so, like, what what do they have to do in that time? They just make some some goofy jokes about uh about what the Rayman rabbits are doing. And then it's just oh, over. God. And you're like, oh, whatever. That was, that was, that sure was something. The game grumps are a thing. This is buy more tequila. This need assless of tequila at this point in the game. Tequila. I love Christopher. Tequila. He's so great. Is that his name? Yeah. You're so good at like looking at the names of characters and then remembering <laughs> I'm them. I'm so good at reading. I'm always. I don't. I I care so little about names. And this is true in the real world with real human beings. I'm better at. I remembering... never fucking learn anyone's <laughs> name ever. I don't even ask. Like I, I don't bother. Like why would I even bother to ask someone's name? And then I I forget. And I'm just like I don't fucking know. But I don't know anyone's name. This 
How, do you, how, how can you expect me to remember these things? I'm I'm pretty good at remembering. Is there like an invisible dude chasing? Okay. Like oh, there he is. Uh, the names of fictional characters that I like or that make an impression on me, and I'm really good at remembering the names of uh, dogs. Dogs. I'll Amazing. never remember the I owner's name. I guess you have to you have to experience a lot more names in your life. Yeah. Like meeting more people. And but uh, I I can tell dogs. you since I started school, I I don't know anyone's name. Oh, of course. I've Fuck been in classes shit. with these people for like a while, and I'm like I don't know uh, who any of you are. I've always I just can't give a shit about people's names or people in general until they like, like I always forget to add people in my phone, <laughs> and then I'm just like I don't remember their name. And I didn't put it in my phone. I just probably didn't think that they were going to be a contact for very long. <laughs> so you just didn't bother saving it. If they don't seem like they're going to be a permanent installment in my life, then I don't, uh, I don't bother with them. If you're not a permanent installment in my life, you're not a permanent and installment in my address I book. I wasted another Slurpee. I don't know why you get the massive ones, because you never drink it in time. Because I want it. <laughs> I want the big Slurpee. This is America. I'm a good American boy. I did three meetings today, back to back. I'm proud of you, Victor. I haven't given a career update on the show in a while. Guys, I'm doing okay. <laughs> That's your update. <laughs> Got big projects going on. Maybe they'll, they'll, they'll happen good. <laughs> and everyone will see them. Tequila! <laughs> Uh, yeah, next time I did you, bros. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's get out of here. Let's start a new episode and we can start talking about something real. Send help. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. The, the content is, um, average. <laughs> it's average. Come on. Get a good, get a, get a, get a, get a,